Hi, everybody. <laughs> I've got something that I've been debating all day whether I want to bring up to the team or not. And since you guys are very close, we're all very close as we work together and we see each other every day. And I see you guys sometimes more than I see my own family. And I think that's safe to say for everybody around the table. Tables. Is this story worse or better than the one you told a couple weeks ago? So this is... Uh, so Billy wasn't here the day that we told the original train story. And there's some listeners that don't listen to every single thing we do. How dare they? Right. That don't know this train story. So I'll give a very recapped version of the original train story, which I believe Jess, Chris, and Roy. Mike, Roy heard. Mm -hmm. Nobody else here heard it. Lucy, Kirsten. Jer Bear. I haven't heard it. Okay. Billy, obviously not. Okay. So a couple of days, a couple, uh, it was like what, last week? It was two weeks two ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, I take the Metro rail as usual and I was going down the elevator and at the Dayland North station, when you get out of the elevator, the rails right on top of you. So North and Southbound. And I saw the Northbound elevator or excuse me, Northbound. Wait, train. you have to redraw the diagram. Oh, it's a giant. Okay. You're getting oh. off an elevator on what happened. No, no, but it's important. She is, she is right there. There's a diagram. I'm not sure if the, the exact details. Of it wasn't a great diagram. It wasn't. It was, a, it was important. Yeah. None not, it was it important. It was. Okay. So think of like the monorail at, Dis at Disney or if you've been on the Metro rail, you know, that there's a Northbound, there's a Southbound, yeah. right? Yes. So right in the middle, there's a stairwell that goes up. As you're walking in, you beep your thing and you you go up, right? So I saw the, the northbound train coming and I was like, all right, I got to make this train. So I get on my horse and I kind of jog over to the... Do you know what he means when he says he gets on his horse? Not an actual horse. Correct. Not an actual he horse. He gets on his horse. Not Diablo. Yeah. Right, right. I get, on my horse, the, like, I get on my horse get on, yeah. and, and I got to go. So I kind of like hop over, you know, jog over to this little thing. I pee, I, I click the uh Go the pee, -pee. Yeah. No. I click the thing and I'm getting up to the stairwell, right? As I step on the first stairwell, a lady runs past me. So when that when that train stops, I've got about 10 seconds before the doors close and it takes off. So I'm again, I'm on my horse. This lady flies by me, right? So she's about like maybe four or five steps ahead of me. That's crazy. So I start double hopping the steps. That's boom, crazy. Boom. To race her? No, because I need, no, not to race her. I need to make the train. It sounds like you're more upset that you were passed. No. So listen. So as, as she's going, she falls. On the stairs? On the stairs. Does she f roll down? Doesn't roll down, but like goes face first down. I look back. Rolled falling up the stairs. Right. Wait. Right. Falling up the stairs. I've done that before. You ever like running upstairs and you like just get caught. And so you, you don't caught. fall down, but you just You fall. kind of fall in place. Yeah, yeah exactly. So I look over. She's still on the floor, but I got to make the train. So I haul ass up. So you have a decision to make. Help right. lady, make train. Correct. How, so How old? maybe older 30s does that change anything injured if she was over know. 50 you gotta help for sure yeah sure over 50 yeah but i i made the calculation you saw a woman fall. no any age any age nah, you just fall, she's any fine. age no but remember the train the train any age. Ah, whoa so you saw a woman fall that? and then you got on the train i got on the train did she make the train no so as you missed the train so as she the, fell so as the train doors are closing she's now running up to the door and I'm sitting in my seat, and Jess is her running up to the door as it closes in her face. Door you guys are the same face. distance. Yeah, dude, just put your hand out. No, and I stop the door. That's what That's we what all said. Everybody said. Every I was sitting everybody said, far away. Just stick your leg or your if arm you out. If you didn't help her at the away. beginning, you're there. You just hold the door for her. You at least got to do the elevator move where you pretend like ah. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm trying to no, help you. Tony thought he would, he would day. legit yeah. lose a limb <laughs> if he didn't. If he I don't know. Have you ever seen anybody stop a, a metro rail door? And this story, this next story, is worse than this previous one. It's it's karma for what happened. All right. Oh, so let's, so <laughs> moving on. Oh no, yes. So Tony, a week ago, it. doesn't help not. a lady who fell. He makes his train. He makes it to work on time. This lady, God knows what happened to her. Probably fired. And so what happened this week? <laughs> maybe it was the worst day of her life. Maybe <laughs> the start of it, at least. So I'm on the train today. I had to come uh, a little early. I was doing an interview earlier than the show. Hmm. So I usually get to the train station around like 7.45, and then I get here around like 8.15 in the morning. So I had to leave my house earlier. You leave at 7.45? Yeah. Oh, 
So lucky. So what nice. a luxury. Seriously. It's nice. Jeez. Yeah. I leave Louise. my house at like 6.50. What time does your alarm go off in the morning? Um, Lucy and I have to be here at 7 for hair and makeup. Yeah. Uh, it's Whiners. Sucks to be 7. I yeah. usually wake up at like 7.15. 7.15, 7.20. Also, 720? I come late every day. That's yeah. great. Yeah. So my alarm hits. I got alarm is at 7.15. My first alarm is like at 5.30. No, nah, nah. mine's at five fifty. Yeah, it's early. Get out of bed six twenty. Mm -hmm. God, that's thirty minutes so of snooze. Early. Yeah. Nice. I like yeah, that. I like the snooze in Big between. Big snooze guy. Yeah, I, I like can't snooze. snooze. I love a snooze. I think we did this bit like years ago. Oh, yeah, we've done like, like all of, times. Yeah. yeah, all of the sounds on the iPhone alarm they all give me a panic attack. Like I hear it go off and I'm like, all right, I'm awake and I, I my like heart a is soft beating alarm. so hard. Mm -hmm. I like my alarm. I don't have it high. The volume's not too high. Just enough to wake me. I have I have a different alarm for every alarm. Okay, like a different sound. Today, today was what? <laughs> today was sci-fi. Like, I hate that one. I hate that one. I, I have, love that one. I have birds Scares right now. Scares the shit out of me. I do the chirping birds. It's the only one that, Ooh, that is one. tolerable. But Lehman has one of the annoying iPhone ones, and he gets up yeah. before me sometimes to go fishing. Let's see. It's my six thirty alarm. Yeah, sci-fi. Every time, my heart just starts pounding out of my chest. Like the minute I wake up, and it's the worst way to wake up. So you know what day of the week it is, Tony? Based off no, the no, no, no. Uh, the time. Oh. Every time, so he knows what time it is based off of the oh, alarm. Okay. Right, correct. Yeah, so it's like my six o'clock alarm. I know because I have the. Hold on. That's like all right. You it's would hell. wake up to so that. that goes off, and you're like, no, it's six and I'm like, it's six thirty. I gotta get up. That's a lie. That's so weird. Oh, okay, Lehman goes fishing every day. He goes fishing often. Yeah, Lehman's an interesting character. Yeah, I Here's, love that nice Lehman. He really loves thing. fishing. Here's yeah. my six fifty alarm. I hate that's, that that's one. That's the worst one. That's, that's, the worst one. that's my alarm. That's the only one. That have. one is like yeah. a drill Gun. right into your temple. Yeah, it is the worst. This this is the one I won't I wake up the otherwise. Can you, okay, so you fell today on the train. The no, brah, brah. no, it's this one. Oh. We're going through all his alarms. But this, this is just... This one freaks me out, dude. I hate that. That one freaks you out. That one is like... That one scares the shit out of me. That's the most normal one of the ones you That's the one that scares the shit out of me. I hate it. Anyways, so early to the train, I got to be early to work. So I'm at the train around 7.05, right? No, nobody's really there. I had just missed the train that left at like seven o'clock. So I saw it go in. I'm like not getting on my horse. I'll catch the next one. So I'm sitting down. You know how the, the Metro Rail has those benches that they do advertising on the sides? So there's like a northbound and a southbound one. So I sit. God, I really don't want to tell the story. You're giving way too many details. I, I need to put people in I the exact position. I love that he's position. just describing trains. He's like, one train goes this direction. Yeah. The other train goes that direction. And there's this weird platform in between the two where you stand on. Yeah. And right. there's a door. There's some people that don't know, guys. People live in a small town. They don't know what a metro system Tony's just being like. inclusive. You walk Come upstairs. On. Each step is a little bit higher than the one. No, they're all the same, yeah. actually. The same level steps. It would be weird if one no. step was higher than no, another they, step. They, it, it is. is. That's how stairs work. Do you go up two steps no. at a time or they, one at a they time? Have you, to guys, be higher. you guys don't steps. get it. No, you guys don't get it. Do you? No, no, I don't, I, I don't think you size. get it. Because <laughs> steps have to be above each other. Yeah, guys, to be no, I get that. But it's the same size step just on top of each other. What if the steps got I don't think bigger the higher you. up you went on a staircase? That's what I'm saying. the last step, you like, you got to pull yourself up. You a box jump to get It's just a wall. Ninja Warrior. The last one is just a wall. Anyway, so I sit down, right? There's maybe a lady in her, I'd say like early 60s next oh, to me. This is not a good start. No. <laughs> There's like a lady in her early 60s next to me, another older lady who's standing up, and like a couple other people like down on the bench. So Tony's like, can I sit? No, no, no. I was sitting first. They sat next to me oh, after. Okay, so I was okay. sitting first, right? Was anyone you get up? Yeah. There's a couple of people standing like... <laughs> Did, this, is the, this is the new story, right? We're on the new story now. New okay, okay. Get up for the old people. I love no, 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 the it setup for the story. Can no. we keep setting up the story for the rest no, of the whole episode? I'm, I may want to because it's, there was it's tiles on the floor. incredibly embarrassing. <laughs> And for me to to say that it was embarrassing, like it was really embarrassing. You know that you're building this up and it's going to be a giant dud, right? No, dude, no one's going to think it's going to be a good dud. story. No. By the time you finish so last, it. So last night was my brother's birthday. This is not okay. important. Uh, do you want me to set up the story or not? I don't understand. This story better have something to do with your brother's birthday. Uh, or it does. anyone's birthday. We so are the only reason this story won't be good. Okay, thank no, you. No, I I'm ready. I'm ready to laugh. I'm so ready last for your so last like, so last tell us what happened. So last night it was my brother's birthday. Can I just can I just give a disclaimer? Yes, go. So Lewis is here, and Lewis said in my ear, he goes, "I was with Tony this morning. I don't remember anything funny." So because because I didn't tell him. He didn't. He said he was waiting until Mystery Crate. He was there exactly. with you and didn't notice. No, anything. he wasn't with me on the train. Okay. All right. He was with me last night at the dinner. Got so it. we were at dinner last night and went to a specific establishment, and Cheesecake I had factory. 
No, close. Oh. A specific establishment. <laughs> Magianos? Wait, do Ooh, they have those nice. here? They don't actually. Is it a specific? Is it specific to this story? Yeah, because what I ate, I had a steak. Okay. Got it. So I had a steak. <laughs> And you know how it is when sometimes steak. Lucy's tuned out, just so you know. She's not even paying attention. Yeah, Lucy's attention not paying anymore. attention. It's just. You were at the Metro. It was your brother's birthday. Something about steak. She hasn't yeah. missed a single thing. You yeah. haven't missed okay, And she hasn't in. listened in 20 minutes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so I sit down at the uh, at the thing. So the day before, had steak. So mm-hmm. I'm sitting down at the stop, right? And You shit yourself. No. <laughs> That is where I think we all thought this was going. Always comes back to poop with Chris Cody. Always. <laughs> why? Weirdly enough, why? Well, you mentioned your dinner the night before, so I think GI issues was the... F- it's the focal point of the story. You really hit steak hard. You were okay. like, I had it's a steak. It's the focal point of the story. So somehow or another, I kind of go to stretch my back, right? So I'm wearing my book bag. Oh I'm wearing my book bag. I'm scared. And I go to stretch my back like this, right? Just like a regular kind of opening the chest. Love that stretch. Really doing this right here. Love it. But as I... <laughs> What did you do? You just farted next to the old people. I ripped ass. <laughs> so embarrassingly. Like louder than that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like louder than that? So loud. Oh, wow. It was like a sharp, just like. <laughs> a stretch fart. It was a stretch fart. And I had no. We've all been there. I had no control over it. So I went like this and it happened. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so the advertising thing behind me, I had my book bag. And I looked back and I looked at it like. You some, looked up and went uh, like that. Like a back weird farted. Like, like a weird you noise. You tried to pretend it was Yeah, I was like, else. oh, what, like, what was this? Like, I thought my water bottle hit the side. Nobody heard it, luckily, I think. And then una pete. No, she no, heard no, it. no. It was. It was oh, Everyone it was heard it. It was so embarrassing, dude. It was such a loud passing of gas. <laughs> this is karma. I was so. It was his brother's birthday. Karma. It For was not, his brother's yeah, birthday. Yeah, what does your brother's birthday steak, have to do the with steak, anything? L- the steak at night. It's all the setup. Why do we need to know about it was your brother's birthday? Yeah, you could have eaten anything and, and then Lewis the was there. Dude, I farted on the train earlier. That's I feel like the we whole got story. There. It was 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, but this took 12 minutes and that was super helpful. I farted <laughs> but, and there was old people around. We also had to recap the story two weeks ago because that it puts context that he's on the train again today. Exactly. But imagine. I'm sorry. Picturing Tony ripping ass in front of strangers is objectively <laughs> funny. Because <laughs> did you act surprised? Were you like, oh, of, co- of course. Yeah. Tony doesn't really feel yes, shame on Tony, it's so hard to embarrass Tony. And I was so embarrassed that the lady next to me, I, I don't know if she just played it off like she wasn't listening or she's like, oh my God, this guy just farted next to me. Like, what do I do? But it was so loud where I was just like, oh my God, this is probably the worst moment of my life. Fart Tony. The worst smell? moment of your life. I don't think so. Nah, probably not. Tony. It, no, it didn't smell. It didn't smell. Thank God. It was just, man, guys, it was so embarrassing. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make this content. Hmm. Take one for the team. So thank you're welcome, everybody. Thank you for doing that. I made it So now sh- you have the fart nickname around here. We, yeah. yep, we fart call bear. him Fart Tony. Fart Bear is no more. Now yeah. it's Fart Just Tony. Just Bear. No, no Lewis said it. Phony. Fart Tony. Phony. 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 Lewis, Phony. Lewis said it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I like fart, fart Tony now. Fart Tone. That hmm. would be a good alarm fart to wake up to. Yeah. <laughs> the Fart Tone. <laughs> you know what? That's going to be 706. <laughs> Do you guys put different alarm? Like I have odd number no. alarms. I do too you because do too, they're Lucy? nine minutes apart. So if I do every ten do minutes, the nine then minutes I news? then I yeah because then I have if I have a five thirty and then a five forty, then I'm doing five thirty snooze five thirty nine. Turn that off. Mm-hmm. Then I'm at five forty. Then mm-hmm. I'm moving to five forty eight when I snooze mm-hmm. at five thirty nine, and then I have every minute. An snooze alarm going should off. be adjustable. Yeah, why is it nine minutes? It is. It's not. I think yeah, it, is. it is. I oh. think nine minutes might be like the. Oh. But why is the standard one nine minutes? I don't know. I don't know. I, you know what? I d- have been wondering that, and I wondered if I chose that one day in my team. No, it was like the U2 album. They just kind of gave it to us. And we were <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, we don't want this. You can have nine minutes. Ten is too long. Eleven? Forget Eleven would it. be crazy. Yeah, yeah. I would think well they probably did some weird psychological research <laughs> of people. <laughs> not- <laughs> Tony, just- are you okay? Are you okay? It's so embarrassing. He's having a tough one. Well, Thank according you. to Reader's it's Digest. Friday for Tony. Oh, that's still funny. a thing? Yeah. Uh, alarm clocks did exist for the snooze function. Uh, getting the gear teeth to line up to allow for exactly 10 minutes oh, wasn't possible. So they had to choose between setting it at nine minutes and a few seconds or a little bit over 10 minutes. So hold on a second. Wait, and wait, that's wait, why wait. it's nine minutes. Huh? It was impossible. I, dude, this is like old timey <laughs> clocks. Not Brother, like, they built so the pyramids. Long. Brother, they built the pyramids in BC. Oh, You're going to tell like me this. that they couldn't align it to 10? We made a discovery, Jess and I, uh, just before this segment started. And I'm wondering if you guys are interested in this discovery that we made. So Stugatz has been sitting here in this chair. This is Dan's seat for the week. I sat down and noticed that it was very high, the chair. 
And then I was looking at the camera and my head was almost out of the shot. So I was trying to lower the chair. The chair didn't lower. And then they came in and they said, is that the solid black chair? And I said, yes. I mean, they all looked the same to me. I didn't even notice that the chair was different. They are different slightly. And they said that that is Stugatz's chair. It is set to a specific height for him. It cannot be moved. <laughs> it can't be moved down because Stugatz needs a little booster seat. Yeah. So Stugatz's chair, which Jess is now sitting in, is higher than I'm, all of the I'm, rest of the I chairs. I feel nice and tall right now. Yeah. And it's because it, it can't be lowered because they can't change the shot for him, which I thought was That's weird. That's adorable. Yeah. It's cute. Stugatz is a, he's cute. I feel like we've lost Tony. He looks like a little sad now that Mike Funny. No, is my elbow him. still is kind of bothering me from hitting the my funny, funny bone. bone. Yeah, fingers. Have tingling? you ever hit your funny bone and your whole arm goes numb? Yes. Isn't that why it's called the funny bone? Because like it makes your whole arm go numb. Am I wrong? I don't know. Why would that be funny? Mm. That's a good point. Lucy's not paying attention. Neither is Lewis. Neither is Mike. Neither is Jeremy. I'm here. Locked neither in. is Chris. Uh, I'm googling why the funny bone hurts. Everybody not paying attention. To us. Sorry, I'm doing I've fantasy been, football. I've been doing my own behind the scenes bit with Chris and Lucy the, and Mike Fuentes the entire time because hmm. uh, little, so? little care to share with the class little, or little inside Levitard show. Um, every single morning when we sit down in the in the shipping container and Dan sits in his seat where Billy's sitting right now, Dan and. Stugatz both have comms back into the shipping container and they're all labeled based off of the microphone that the person is sitting behind and they're it's very standard in just... my opinion the same every day but Dan gets I think either confused or thinks that they are different yeah. or gets confused by a couple of the labels so every single morning he presses the buttons and says is this Jess is this Lucy and he goes through all the buttons and the buttons don't change. Sometimes right. our seats change. That's it. Because um, the, the mics are labeled. Uh, that one is A1 production. That one's board up. That one's EP. And then it's one, two, three, four from left to right. No. If you're Dan. And yet every day Dan yet, comes in and he's day, like, let me make sure we got this right. Tony, is this you? <laughs> every day he Billy, does that. Is this you? And we like all nod our heads. <laughs> well, give a the, thumbs the, up. The, the, no, it's but it's when it's Tony, is this you? And it's Jess. And it's like, no, that's the wrong. <laughs> and it's like, no, it's yeah. Jess. And then he's like, and then he keeps like pounding all the buttons. Yeah. Pounding all the buttons. So I have just been doing that to Chris and Lucy. Oh, is that what you've been doing? Wow. For the last 12 She just keeps saying in my ear, is this Lucy? <laughs> <laughs> Mike. Mike. <laughs> I tried doing it to Jeremy, but I think he was editing something. No, Jeremy no, he, can't hear. He I'm have. also not only so it's that one complicated gets every time. Oh god, that one gets done every time. Yeah, Wild. so this one, this one happens because I sometimes have comms and sometimes don't have comms, and oh, then man. randomly there ends up being a buzzing in the headphones. Randomly, like it, literally in the middle of Mystery Crate all day, we were good, and then in the middle of recording this, I had buzzing, so I switched to the headphones next to me. So I'm technically three right now. If you wanted Lucy, to do it, yeah, it really messes me up in show. It's Lucy. Well, Yes, Jess. Uh, um, but he, I think he thinks that the buttons change. Yeah. But they don't. The buttons don't change. And I have also been convinced into thinking, oh, maybe the buttons change. And now that I sit here, I know. The buttons do the not buttons change. The buttons do not change. I think the boss is doing an exceptional job. And yeah. he is, There's he no, is like, no doing fantastic. Excellent job. Excellent in LA job, too. boss. Man, Free let me tell you, that content. Up. Ooh, content coming out of LA. Fire. fire. Love it. Every single second Amazing. of it. Give me more. Whoa, All right, kiss that ass. Is, that yeah. seemed not. You got to get ahead, you know? Yeah, 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 you guys are the ones being phonies now. Yeah, phony Well, you're balonies. definitely phony. Yeah. Thank you. Fart I'm tony. just playing it real. Yeah. Keep it real. Mike Fuentes is grumpy because he came back from the DR and vacation's <laughs> over and like he's a already person. grumpy. He's Ooh. super grumpy. Already you were in the DR? Yeah. Yeah. Five days. How was it? Um, it's huge if you love humidity and mosquitoes. Wow. That's the place to be. Like oh, the highlight okay. of my day was peeling off my pants every night. Hey. Yeah. Yo. Hey, yo. yo. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you dog. No, no, it was really nice. You were sweating. Yeah, it was terribly hot. Like, but what are you doing wearing pants, fool? Uh, so some of the restaurants at the resort they make you wear pants <laughs> if you want to. Papi, you need to bring. Can no. we isolate? What are you doing wearing pants, Papi? fool? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a great line from Tony, just in a vacuum. Thank you, Taylor. Get on that. In a vacuum. Um, <laughs> why didn't you wear pants to Elo? No, I mean I had pants that this dude. It was yeah. it just didn't matter. Were you wearing matter. like jeans or something? No, no, I had like these airy pants, but it's just it's to the point where it doesn't matter what you're wearing. And then, oh you're, and, then you're, and then you're drinking on top of that, mm. you know, which doesn't help the Why sweat situation. Why weren't you like in the pool? Yeah. No, that was during the day. Yeah, but at night was the real killer. During the day was fine because during the day it's like five inch shorts and, you know. Well, five inch inseams. All right, yeah. we're getting crazy in the DR. <laughs> <laughs> and like uh, just pina coladas and all that stuff. It was great. It was a nighttime that was rough. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry. It was so difficult. Totally for you. Difficult I mean, on vacation. vacation yeah. Having, having food brought to me. And, yeah. You know, he also broke his face. 
What? Yeah, that hurt. What yeah. Happened? Sorry, we're not allowed to talk about that. No, that's fine. I was riding a banana boat, and if anybody's ever Ooh, in a banana a boat, yeah. <laughs> anybody ever in a banana boat, you know, it's a like pon- pon- pontoon boat. type thing. It's, it's a banana. Shape it's a, a banana, and the, and the boat pulls you around. And at the end, we on were coming. On one side, there's one train, and on the other side, the train goes. One's, exactly. no, no, one's yeah. going northbound. And then one's yeah. going this south. wild thing in the middle called a platform. Yeah. yeah. And then the lady fell. I couldn't care less. So there's a peel, and it's yellow. Yeah. Yeah, it's a banana, and then at the end. We were oh, getting ready to tips. get off. Yeah. yeah, it was tipping over like this, and this girl let go, and I oh, let go at the no. same time. My face went right into the back of her back, and then Ooh. I'm pretty sure I blacked out for like half a second. Oh no! And then, yeah, so then so then I wake up in the water and I'm laughing. Wake up you woke up in the wait, wait, yeah. the it, it, it gets better. It gets better. No, it gets so better. then so then I so then I wake up. I'm sta- and and I and I'm underwater. I wake up real quick, and then I, I look around. I start laughing, and then Jules looks at me and she goes, "His girlfriend." Yeah, okay. she goes. Hey, you're bleeding. And I went like this and I just had blood all over my hand, both my nostrils just bleeding down my face. Did you yeah. break your nose? No, no. Nice I just yeah. That's how you tell a story, Tony. Did she do it the way oh, Stu Gatz did Marty Scheinheimer? Hey, you're bleeding. <laughs> no, she was more like, You're you have blood all over your face. Like it was my fault. You have blood all over your face. She's and I was like, mad oh, shit. At you? Yeah. Like, you're mad at me because I'm ugly. Because I didn't do with it. Yeah. But it didn't really hurt. But it was just a lot well, of Well, you were not knocked Yeah, I didn't remember it. Yeah. I'm pretty boy, sure, like, I just remember <laughs> whack. So, oh, my God. He yeah. is such a brave little boy. You're so right. <laughs> he had a tummy ache. <laughs> <laughs> he had mosquitoes everywhere. He was wearing pants at yeah. night. He got thrown off a banana boat. The pants at night. survived. Oh, the Dominican trooper. was so hard. Yeah. <laughs> pants at night. I don't understand. Pants at night was brutal. You guys are terrible. Yeah. Oh, we're terrible. Yeah, I'm just here, man. You just said that's how you tell a story. Tony is a net. He's even. He is totally fine right now. He did something bad. Something bad happened to him. Karma neutralized. I'm good now. He's fine. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. The For fart, you, I don't know. Yeah. So what did I do? To, did what did I do to get my face smashed in? And a fish bit my finger. Oh, no, yeah. He told that story, too. A fish too. didn't Did bite you? No, no, no. I don't think you guys were there for that story. No. He said a fish bit his finger. He does a but, paper but it, cut it, it on didn't, his finger. It didn't really Wait, what kind of fish bite He my knows exactly the fish and exactly how I got him. He then set, went from the fish bit my finger to the was spines of the, the fish. Was this in the ocean just like... <laughs> spines. Splat, splat, I mean, he was trying yeah. to be yeah. Steve Irwin. Yeah. No, so like... Oh, too soon. In the water. You tried to catch it. You tried to catch the fish. And so they had like this piece of bread and like the people the people that work at the resort are giving bread out to people to feed the fish. So like there's a little feeding frenzy. So of course my like 12 beers in ass. Well, I'm going to catch this fish with my hand. And then so the feeding frenzy starts and I reach my hand to grab the fish and it got me right in the finger. What kind of fish was it? Little silver one. I don't know which one it was. Oh, little silver one. You had names yeah. before. A silver fish. There What's was silver the genus of the species? No, I don't know yet. Barracuda? You know? I got to call Ron. Needlefish? Yeah. Beacon no, needle. not a needlefish. Lehman would, sure. yeah. <laughs> would know. Lehman would know. Lehman would know. Lehman? Call Lehman. Loves fishing Inside so show, much. He does. There's I can tell through social. so much fishing stuff I need to follow Lehman. And in right our car. Dude, Lehman has some great cooking videos. Really? I'm yeah, man. Lehman like, right now. Lehman makes some stuff where I'm like, damn. He doesn't even, he doesn't buy sauce. A yeah. pro. He makes sauce. Wow. Yeah. Which is incredible to me because I, I am can buy for the food I see Jess eating. I have a personal chef. Yeah. It's not, hmm. it's not a secret. Really? It's Lehman. Yeah. Hmm. He, he catches his own fish and then he will fillet it clean it up and make it for us for dinner yeah i saw him put it in a banana leaf and steam it yeah oh yeah i'm That's following beautiful. him beautiful right he's gonna like, like an that. ancho chili sauce i, I spent yeah. a little bit of time talking to him very little a little bit of time talking to him at Ooh, highlight, highlight the other day yeah we were bonding very what little were you guys bonding about? i don't know we had like a little joke i remember i remember laughing at him not at him with oh, him wow, about okay. something i was preoccupied because i got bad intel from chris cody about highlight where i was told that roy was taking his daughter so i said i'll take my daughter mm. and then my daughter can play with princess claire mm-hmm. and then we were like er, we got there really early on so i was like okay we'll just wait when roy yeah. you're a guy that princess gets claire. places early i'm n- always late i was gonna everywhere. say what have you ever hung out with billy <laughs> it's like the complete always, opposite <laughs> always late everywhere if i even show up it's a joke guys yeah so anyways so then Roy gets there, no, no Princess Claire, and then I'm just, yeah, I don't understand. He's just, like, it's a jo- who's it's the a joke for? The if, joke. The if joke everybody else people, doesn't know, the joke is for people that don't know that Billy's always late. But we know Billy the best, so if we don't catch up on the joke, yeah, I, I'll, I couldn't, okay. I couldn't detect the sarcasm. Okay. But that's okay. Like I sometimes that's I, some I'm good not sark. That sharp. He Thank farted good today, sark guys. Right there. Guys, I he, farted. He's, exactly. sark- he's, he's recovering from the fart. Fart Keesian. Wow. No. You could some yeah. would say that Lee's cooking, <laughs> Lehman's cooking, is unbelievable. I'm so glad I've rubbed off. On I you followed guys. him. I followed him. Well, he's gonna be day. like, "Wow, Billy finally followed me." I wonder if he's gonna me. follow me back. I'm so excited. Maybe he already follows you. I don't think he does. <laughs> He'll follow you back. The other one is Coogs's wife. I don't follow Coogs's oh, yeah, wife. Oh yeah, I either. follow her. Yeah, she's nice too. She's super nice. I barely follow Coogs. Very very, very nice lady. Very nice. 
I don't like when Cooks puts up stories because I know he's got an Android and I'm like, ugh. Can oh, we talk so about disgusting. I hate that. Can we talk about Her the disgusting. story he put up of his wife and it was like my my bunny or something? Oh no. <laughs> I want to know how I he feel did bad. Not. I feel bad. I immediately feel bad because I feel like he I'm making fun not. of him now. Did you screenshot it? <laughs> uh no, but I, as soon as I came into work, I was like, hi bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I love pet. I love people's pet names for their so, significant others. Me and Lewis. Uh, hey, wait, hold that thought. We'll you be know right what? Back. I, on the other side of the break, I'll tell you my. No, thoughts. you gotta let Chris hit him with a good. Be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> Tony just saw the clock and absolutely <laughs> crumbled under the pressure. Like, there's four seconds left. He's like, me and Lewis were. Uh, no, because I was telling Chris before we started that whoever sits in whatever oh, seat, you take the energy of that person. Greg Cody energy today for you. So I've got a bit of Greg Cody energy with me today because I was looking at the clock and I was like, oh, I got enough time. But I was actually looking at what time it was instead of how much time there was left, which is where it's all zero. And Let's whatever. all take on the characters of the chairs we're sitting in the rest of the show. Billy, you be Dan. You be Stu Gatz. You be easy. Greg. I'll be Roy. Blow it out your ass. <laughs> Classic. He's already in. Blow it out Lewis is sitting in my seat and he said in my head, said he goes, it's funny because I'm super grumpy and I'm sitting in your seat. Wow. <laughs> Not a good mood. Could have been helpful on air, maybe that that sentence. <laughs> so, so me and Lewis have a joke because <laughs> <laughs> she's good at this yeah, game. She's good. she's good at this game. So me and Lewis have a joke because anytime I see Matt Kugler on his own Instagram, it's usually like posting, like reposting a story that About his wife put up. Or that, but the one, I don't really pay attention to that one. Oh, so, geez, I mean, no, the show. Respectfully, you have yeah. a problem with Amin and Charlotte? I love Amin. It means a dear friend. Charlotte is too. Oh, okay. That was, oh. Did you say that? Came real close. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? So Matt Kugler, for some reason or another, I don't know if it's because Whoa. he has an Android or what. Anytime he reposts a photo that his wife took of him that he puts back on his story, it looks like an AI generated video or version of what Kugler would look like. So it doesn't really look like him. It looks like an AI generated Matt Artificial Matt intelligence. How did Fan Levitard show Scoop Coogs? Before we did. It's a great question. We've been trying to get Coogs on Mystery Crate since he's been with the company. And I saw this guy promoting Coogs. I'm like, there's no way Coogs is at. And I heard his voice. He did it. No, I, br I brought it. I brought it up at Highlight. I, as soon as Coogler and his wife got there, Laura, I said, I have a bone to pick with your husband. And, and he's like, oh, great. And I'm like, yeah. So <laughs> that was a good one, actually. He's getting to it. Yeah. So here's the thing. I was like, we've been trying to get him to do Mystery Crate in any podcast with us since he started working here hasn't done it and then he just joined like a fan podcast for 45 minutes that kind of thing yeah are you just you're gonna be doing that huh that was good billy that was good that kind of thing i, I, I got you thank you <laughs> he no. said he said that it was my fault that i, I encouraged him to do it how Cause, rad well because he vetted it with me and he's like you like that i was like yeah that's fine and you have been trying to get him in here for like three months yeah but in he, here yeah, yeah but he refuses to do this show but Why? did that show he thinks he's too funny for us he well, he's actually on right now. Right? We just can't hear him. No, yeah. dude. He's, he's actually yelling into a mic. I've been doing a Kugler impression <laughs> in Tony's ears for the last like five minutes. Do I do it? I'll Thanks, Louis. I'll come on if you guys want. Man. You can see, no, he is. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's, Tom Segura is not that funny. Our audience <laughs> hasn't heard him talk, so it's kind of like. <laughs> Tom Segura is not that funny. You know what it is? I think it's a it's a long yeah, con bit right. for Kugler to never be on yeah, here, just get the done. satisfaction of us wanting him to be on here. I don't want him on here. And then, wow. yeah. I'm taking a stand against him right now. Wow. I don't he's, want him on the show. He's too okay. corporate right now. He's banned from the show. Banned from, too, exact, too, too corporate. Too corporate. Yeah. You just We're said Greg Cody. You corporate Cougs. said that Stu got hot take. Look at her, she's got this. I'm kind of with you guys. He is kind of corporate. <laughs> corporate now. I'm trying to Cougs is here. a fraud. He's yeah. a corporate spy. He's a fraud. He is a corporate spy. He's the corporate spy. Last week, last week I think Carl wasn't here and everybody else was out. The only guy that showed up was him. Uh huh. Yeah. And he was very intrigued on what I had to he say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, he had me speaking to his, you know, caller for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> You're asking to take his shirt off. Reporting back. I should have actually. And he told can, me. Can you take your shirt off? And he told me. <laughs> Greg Cody. <laughs> Coops also told me he was good at bowling, and that wasn't true. So. Ooh, really? Oh Whoa. shit! Oh, 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 oh. Tell us. Wait a I minute. Mean, I think I just said it. Zagak. No, I mean it's luckily I'm it's a handicap league, so he's got a lot of pins for our team, so it actually ends up helping the team. But yeah, he's not good. Wow. But he would admit that. I mean, he he hasn't bowled. He barely broke a hundred most games. Yikes! Really? Yeah, that's that is terrible. Dude. Is he a curve guy or a straight? No, guy? No, he's a straight he guy. Straight guy. And he throws like an eight pound ball. And he's just. And we're like, dude, you know, the heavier the ball, the more pins you knock. He's just like, no, I got this. Wait, I, I use an eight pound <laughs> ball. Hold on. Like he uses the lightest ball. The kids ball. The kids ball. Hold on. They push that off the little the, the slide. The slide. <laughs> Wait, hold I never, on. A I second. never use the slide. Hundred percent true. No bit. He says that he's a good bowler. 
he says his wife is good. That's that his con to get on my team. Bunny? Like, me and my wife, we're good. <laughs> bunny, rest in peace, I bunny. I feel so bad. <laughs> Why rest in peace? Why rest in peace, Bunny? Because she died? Who? Spoiler. Who Suzanne Summers? No, oh, man. Only murders. Not the point. Okay, keep it moving. <gasps> oh, that bunny. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. That's, that is that's, a that's the only oh, bunny yeah. that I know. Valid. <sighs> Bad bunny. I apologize for any jokes bubble. that I made that were inappropriate. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Coogler's not going to listen to this. No. no and if he but... did, he'd tell us about the whole Dan Button bit. That's true. Because he's corporate now. Ooh, yeah. Maybe we should like yeah. and he's drop some too. seeds, see if like he, like, you know, a little trap. We'll set a trap for him. Like making fun of his wife. I, I did not. I, I said no. I, I, no, no she is a that. sweet woman. I did woman. that, no and I immediately did. felt bad. Yeah. I, I most definitely did not. No, she you is a sweet woman. You guys all acted like I just. I most definitely you did not. I, I, somebody was talking in my ear. I didn't know what was happening. No, I, was I offend that. a lot of people, so I'm just like, shit. Was it me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just making fun of pet names, which I'm very guilty of. Yeah. I what's your What's your most embarrassing pet name for Lehman? I call him Bob. We call each other Bob. I don't know why. We call each other Bob. Okay. We're both Bob. Like babe? Like, Bob. How deep does this it's go? It's kind of... What? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I mean like, it's like, kind of like, did you see um, the Little Dicky show, Dave? Yeah. There's a there's a Piece season where him and... Um, Gata? The No, the producer, the music producer. Oh, uh, Benny, Benny Blanco. Benny Blanco. Benny Blanco. They both keep calling each other Chuck. Yeah, hey yeah. Chuck. The whole yeah. episode. It's kind of like that. But we, we did it before we saw that. So it wasn't like we're mm. copying So you guys them. were named They just call each other before. Chuck the whole time. Hmm. And Do you ever take Bob and, and expand upon that? Yeah. Bob the Builder, oh, Bobby sure. Flay, yes. things like that? all of those things. Huh. And Bob, Robert. I like it. Robert? Yeah, like he'll be like, it's Kirk. time to go to work, Robert. Robert? I like it. Kirk. Kirk's Bob. You see, because, because Bob Where's is Robert? And that's Bob the least short. embarrassing. So, no, I get that. Okay, Thank you. I was just wondering Thank if you, you knew that. How about, how about you? What do you call your wife? Embarrass, embarrassing pet name Bubbles That's it mm. yeah. That's, yeah, that's cute, a pretty though. embarrassing one I think it's cute Mike I don't think yeah, Why do you want people To be embarrassed It's a joke Because he farted On the fucking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want people To feel embarrassed today He literally Damn. shit himself On the train Not Not, sh- not shit myself <laughs> It was a very sharp And dry you were fart so close though Sharp and dry fart Sharp Please and remember dry. that at home A sharp Chris You're up What, what? do you call your wife Kyle Kyle <laughs> Yeah They call each other that What's that? Mean? Oh, yours. Bob's fine. I wasn't being critical. I was <laughs> you gave a look. That was a dismissive look you yeah. gave me. Bob's okay with Kyle. People be embarrassed, yeah. like Billy we said. call each other Kyle. I don't want anyone to be embarrassed. Kyle? Yeah, Bob's weird too. I don't. I didn't say it wasn't weird. You just said no. This Kyle? is just purely yeah, out of it. Yeah, do, there's no. I don't believe you. It's you took true. Bob from Jess and went. Here's another name. <laughs> yeah. Right? That is that's ridiculous. Exactly. What you're saying right now. I don't believe. If like, I you called her, anybody doing a thing, it'd be you, Cody. Babe is not as funny though as Kyle. Yeah. Sure. Kyle, are you like, a babe guy? What? I'm a babe guy. Uh, okay, so you're you're, when you get guy. home today and you see your wife, can you like record? And you just randomly call her <laughs> Kyle and yeah, yeah, see yeah, what yeah. she does, please. Yeah. I need this. Yeah, yeah. Just walk in the door. Hey, Kyle. He's and gonna, do, should I call her on speaker right now and be like, "What's up, Kyle?" Yeah, yes, yes. Well, yes, she'll just yes, think yes, you're calling the wrong person. No, yeah, 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 yeah. She'll yell at him. Yeah, she's gonna be like, "You're calling the wrong person, idiot." Yeah, I like this. I'll add. I'll add another wrinkle. This is good. This is good. We also call our dog Bob. Oh, okay. Cause babe, keep it. just Bob. Kyle. We're all Bob. That gets confused. Hello? Hey, Kyle. It's Christy. Kyle. Oh my god. <laughs> you call. You called your wife. Don't I call you Kyle sometimes? Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing? All right. Uh, yeah, I love you. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so telling weird. you, I've done it before. She just doesn't remember. Yeah, I'm she's, telling you. She's just confused. Because <laughs> you only do it in person, right? That's what like, are you what? doing? <laughs> you also, it sounded like you two have never spoken to each other. <laughs> Dude, what was that? Like, I think she knew she was on air. Have you ever like, talked to her in your life? <laughs> I, love, I love how she responded to you like you have brain damage or something. She's like, you're calling your wife. <laughs> she said, it's Christy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're calling your wife. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Jer Bear? Uh, my, my Let's wife. all call our spouses on say, speaker and no. call them a different name. Who, who can Jeremy yeah, call yeah. his wife so he can call her right now? No, my, my wife's name is, is Courtney. So, and I just shorten it. It's like Courtney. Like we just basically take out the vowels. So yeah. just be like Jer. You don't ever call her Court? It's weird. Yeah, I'll call her Court. Or how about Nini? I'm trying to get the weirdest way. We don't really have... It's like Babe or things like You've that. You've written it's your not... wife a poem, right? <laughs> my wife a song, bro. Of course. Because of course, same, same I was dude. 18 what years old. Yeah. Same, same thing. You've never yep. written your wife a poem? No. In a card? You're wrong. No. Oh, wow. 
You're, you're gonna step you're, up your game. What was worse? Wrong Hold here. on. What was worse? Me saying that you know a lot of magicians, or him saying that you've written your wife? A poem? I was right. He it, wrote that her one was song. accurate. He wrote her a song. They're both accurate. They did. <laughs> Billy turning that into a negative thing, like it's not one of the sweetest not things a bad you could thing. do. It's I'm fantastic. Not. I didn't say, did, who said it? Billy, you do this. Jess is out. The way you said it, Billy. Yeah, yeah, it's the way you said it. You're an evil cat. You're an evil cat. Hey, there's yeah. a little Tony and Billy, dude. I'm Bully. A, there's a little Tony and Billy. I'm a dog. No, no. First of all, first Bully, all, Bully Gill is back. Hell Bully dog, Gill is first back. First of all. What? How the song go, Billy? Did you think that the no. way you said that to Jeremy <laughs> no. was like? You know what? Play it. Let's not play. Gonna it. Do you have you it go, recorded somewhere? Not you have definitely absolutely not. You go. You've definitely written a poem for your wife. Yeah, so like that's a positive way no, to say no. that. Yeah, super Billy, positive. Play it back. Play it back. Theater kid. That was like high school yeah, bully in your tone. Play it back. Was like high school high bully is exactly. I know that's what Billy is. High school bully. Let's all talk at the same time. Oh, play it back. Good. He's doing the chair thing. Yeah. I haven't seen that one in a while. Uh, uh, oh, that was I fun. Will. Should I call my wife again? No. Yeah, yeah. Call yeah. Her. yeah. <laughs> Should I call her this time? Different name. Different name. Different Jeff? name. Jeff. Nah, dude, you're gonna get home. The lock's you're, gonna be no, changed. No, your wife is gonna say something on air that she is gonna regret for you. <laughs> she just texts me. What was that about? <laughs> How do you explain that one? I'm just gonna write. Sorry, Kyle. Uh, my point is, what's don't your? Don't eat uh, that Willow. Oh, uh, I don't really have one. You don't have I one. I call her Jules. Yeah. Her name is her name is Juliana. I call her Jules. So you don't have any. That's good. Baby, you got a big trip uh, coming up in Japan, huh? It's like six months away. Yeah. Oh. We'll, we'll talk about that another mystery crate. Lewis I think we talked about it like the last three mystery crates. Well, have just we? Never in depth. We, we got something for you though, for sure. Lewis, shut the fuck up. Uh, no, I'm like a babe guy. Your babe guy. Maybe. That's definitely Maybe. one of the weirdest texts My I've ever God. sent. Uh, I did a joke that we call each other Kyle. <laughs> She's like, what is wrong what with this guy? Joke? Why is that funny? <laughs> Hi, uh, Lucy, if you were in a relationship, what would your, what would be your like go-to? Pet name. Yeah. I don't know. Have you ever called anyone babe? No, I don't really like it. Kyle? Sweetie? Kyle all the Bob? time. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know. I'm Darling. not like a huge nickname person. Mm. So you're just like, hey. <laughs> Full name. Yeah. Will. No, full, full name. <laughs> first, middle, and last William. name. William. <laughs> like, I don't we know. We call Willow William sometimes. Hmm. That's her other nickname. She's Bob. She's William. What do you think happens She's if we call her sense. Kyle? If I call her Kyle, Bro. probably bring her in the room and call her, her Kyle. <laughs> yeah. She's in the room. She's right here, oh. right now. We had a Kyle. dog named Minnie. We'd call her Minneapolis sometimes, Aww. or Minnesota. Yeah, only in Minneapolis. Yeah. You think it's still going on? You want to check? What's that? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, remember we did only in my only in Dade. But yeah. then we looked for only in India, in the only in Minneapolis, and they had it. Minneapolis. Yeah. Minneapolis, whatever, man. Got call your it, call your wife and call her. Moofy. Call your wife. <sighs> Let's My do wife? this. Jenny's See, gonna cuss your ass out. Would, uh, <laughs> I feel like <laughs> Lehman would act like he. If you said, "Hey, Bob," he'd be like, "Hey, what's up?" Yeah. Right. But like they actually you know, call like you no, made up the Right. I made mine. I call. Up. I yeah. is real. Wow. You <laughs> did. Nice. I call Jenny BB. That's what I call her. Cute. Mm. Thank you. Can you call her and call her Kyle and see what's what happens? it stand for? Yeah, Kyle. BB is just short for babe or baby. Beep. I just shortened Beep. it. I just said BB. Beep. Beep. And that was Beep. it. Beeb. Beebs. I call her Beebs. Beeb. Yeah. I call her BB, BB Saurus, BB Saurus Rex. BB Rexa? It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how pet names can expand. Expand, right. Yeah. Lehman. Like Lehman. Yeah. Makes me now proud. Now he's Lehman Brothers. Mm. Mm. Not really. Bad into them. Yeah. Fraud. Bad yeah, this this segment bad. really peaked at Cody calling his wife. Yeah, because now should, it's like it's just all downhill. Well, you could have made up a good to pet call name my wife? for your girlfriend. Yeah, but to go yeah, but Mike now Fuentes. it's just like a freight train to disaster right now. Like, yeah, well, I know. Well, anyway, where's your magic crate of things that we could talk uh, about? I actually have some topics. Let me grab them. Hold on. Yeah, this is exciting. It's a good thing we didn't bring those in the room. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, the magic crate is usually in here. Mike Fuentes is one of the funniest producers. First day back from vacation. I could I could I could picture in my head. Yeah, Mike Fuentes. First day back, that was a little rough. We'll cut him some slack. You need a vacation from your vacation yeah. sometimes. Yes. That's you why have have I'm that always buffer. on vacation. <laughs> Fuentes, do you agree with what I said a while back that the f the day before you leave on your vacation is better than the last day of your vacation. Oh, a, thou a thousand percent. You're because welcome. there's You're like anticipation. There's no like, this is the most time before I have to work again. And I should have taken and today that, off. I was thinking about that last night, but I was like, I'm going to. Yeah, I was dumb of you for sure. Off you took plenty of time off. You're and, good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean. Don't worry. That line that and you missed, were in at I'm, the airport looked long. Oh, dude. Oh my God. Terrible. Why was it no, so long? Customs. So, so the flight from 
DR to Miami is two hours, right? So I do two hours. They make us wait 40 minutes to get off the plane because Jeez. customs is too, like, capacity. What? Yeah. So then, so I'm like, oh, great. So that means when I get off this, there's going to be a line. So then I get out. They do you put have me, global entry? Oh, <laughs> I'll get to that. Of course, the peasant yeah. does not have yeah. global so, entry. So, well, hold on. Peasant. Negative, oh Tony. God. But so <laughs> then they take us off the plane. They put us in a hallway, like a holding hallway. Uh huh. They do like, hey, guys, you have to wait. Is that capacity? So Juliana and her parents both have global entry. They ditch me immediately. What? Yeah, they ditch me in the line. I would have ditched your ass. Yeah, I, I, I agree with it. Pay for global. I'm like, get the hell out of here. Yeah, like I'll wait. But clear. I was, but I was already pre-approved. You should have gone with them and just be like, I left my thing. Okay, (laughs) so (laughs) there was a guy who tried to do that. (laughs) My thing. There was a guy who tried to do that, and then five minutes later, he's walking all the way to the back of the line. But I, they kicked them back. Didn't you leave with them? So they yeah. could get through, but then they just have to wait for you anyway. Well, that's not, but I told them they can leave. That's the thing. They were able to go pick up the car, watch half of the Columbia Ecuador game, and then come back before I got out of the line. Watch it where? Because they have a family member who lives in Fort Lauderdale. So they just went to the house and chilled there and came they back. Went that's how home long it took. And came back it's, to get so you the, and watched half of a soccer game. The flight, the flight was two hours, right? Yeah, the flight was two hours. So Mike. then I waited in a hallway and waited in customs for like two hour, two and a half hours, more or less. And waiting for my global That's entry interview. Insane. Yeah, I had never seen it like that. It was crazy how long it was. That is so crazy. Yeah, and, and a fish bit you. Yeah, and a fish bit and me. And you broke your and face. And I got it's knocked concussed. out. You know, yeah, and the mosquitoes and the humidity. It was a great vacation. And the linen pants. I had a good time. If I didn't he, have linen if pants. If had linen he pants, he would have been hot. I had a lot of linen shirts, you but not linen pants. You know who is the king of linen in the humidity? John Skipper. Yeah, Ooh, big he's linen guy. always got his finest linens on when he's down. I do here. enjoy so some good linen. Byram, the IT guy, also dresses like he's really? a pirate somewhere in the Aegean Sea. <laughs> what? Ba- Byram, the IT guy, pirate no. in the Aegean Sea. Okay, at yeah, G- he's a pirate at GNC. No, not at GNC. <laughs> the Aegean Sea, conquering all the creatine yeah. tubs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Actually, I, concrete creep probably. By the yeah. way, guys, I want to. Uh, I have a, a bucket of death uh, commissioner ruling here that I was, I've been thinking about for a while, and I was going to do it. Just Willow's for, thing didn't count. Just no, I counted. I oh. was going to do it just for myself but because I'm a fair person. I want to uh, open this up to everyone. I think that Woody's punishments are up for grabs because he's never going to do them. So if you have any punishments that Woody has that you want, did, you can take them. Did he have any like decent yeah, ones? He had like 10. I, say I got you. I got a do. list. I say we shame him Ooh, into doing them. I feel are? like he's the type that would just do them if we asked Chipper's him. has got a list here. He and can 100% put would. Also, there was the punishment that was like write the, a 10-page book report on yeah, the Mike Sherbrooke. That's one I'm like, Mike is def- or, or Woody is definitely going to No, and he also he also owes us a show from a bathtub. Because of Geno Smith's year mm-hmm. last year, yeah, mm-hmm. Ooh, that one we'll probably never get. But no, you know. Anyway, say. what's what's in your crate? The ten page book purport can be incinerated. Yeah, I don't think anybody <laughs> would want to do that. I would never I mean, do it's that. It's a terrible punishment. Okay. It's, I would never. I didn't do it when I needed to. What My daughter in kindergarten has a book report due That's in like a week or two. How book she report on what book? The ABCs. She can read. So basically, you have a book report due <laughs> a in bit. a couple. Of it Are is really sure just. It's, it's a pretty basic. On what? It's, Pass the bunny. It's obviously very basic. It's bunny? like one sheet of paper that says characters, like subject. Mm-hmm. Like it's. She doesn't have to write five pages on it, but it's days. it's what they're calling a book report. Huh. Hmm. I don't like that. So big news, guys. The Magic Creative Continent is becoming its own segment. Wow. It'll be on YouTube. It'll be used as relief for the show when we need segments. Classic. But I don't have Spoiler it with alert. me right now, but I was preparing for the next recording, which will happen in the next couple of days. And since we're running Where out is of steam. It? What do you mean you don't, don't have know. it with you? Is it, is it is it there? It's usually here. Oh. Oh. Jeremy has something on his computer right now. Danny uh, just told me, Danny GQ just told me in my ear that he can bring it to me. So Danny, please do that. No, oh, nice. I, mean, I have a, a, a list of some of the witty punishments. Yeah, give them. Oh, that okay. give them up. They were already put back in the bucket. So some people have already claimed really? some of these oh. we do have a google sheet that all of you do have access to no we don't have any google sheets seems None like of this is written down seems it's like they went over your head billy you, you head. just said we're putting witties back in it seems like they've already been put it happened <laughs> at the beginning of the season no we've been iron fist. We've, been, we've been doing this yeah me and billy constant yeah constant you were just making the announcement the thing is he is rules with an iron fist mine has a drop down option that i, I uh, made sure no it does that chris whittingham is a fancy lad so the book report. Should I call him and call him Kyle? Yes. See what he says? That's his yeah, brother's yeah, yeah, name, yeah, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Oh, wait, yeah. no, that's Kyle Whittingham. I'm thinking of the, yeah. that's the Utah, Utah coach. coach. Yeah. I was like, Close. I know a Kyle Whittingham. That's his Whittingham. uncle, Kyle. That's his yeah, uncle, that's his yeah. uncle. Yeah. There was the human sandcastle, spend the show buried in the Chris sand. Chris did that That one? Uh, yeah, I did that. Uh, that one's dead get... because Hold we're on, not on the beach anymore. Chris, what's up, sir? Kyle. Kyle? Kyle. 
What about Kyle? Just, we like that fun. I was on mystery crate. I just I'm calling people. How did you buckle the him and your wife? Two seconds in. Okay. Is there a particular reason why? No, well, Mr. Crate really wants to know if you're ever going to do these punishments. You have yeah. like 10 of them overdue. Bathtub. Bathtub naked. Uh, I, I have like six of them due, yeah. Hmm. yeah. Uh, one well, of them okay. is to read Mike Schur's entire book. Do that shit, yeah. Do that shit. That seems like a lot. Yeah, we're going to need that by next Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. Else uh, or else so much. <laughs> <laughs> he rules with an iron fist. Yeah. All right, Kyle. I'll talk to you later. All right. Cheers, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't have the first name Whoa. on his mind. Brandon. That is some good old fashioned improv from Winnie right there. Oh, yes, man. Uh, there's, there's, I don't know what it is, but comedically, the well placed deadpan okay is so funny sometimes. Like, okay. Like, I like, I like so good. The, or else what? And they, Chris, so many bad things. <laughs> <laughs> that we're going to need that by next Friday was great. I never know where we're going to end up. Yeah. I did not have me just calling random That's people true. on my phone, You can't phone, just Kyle. call them and just say the word Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that Kyle. Should I call Dan? Kyle. Should I call Dan? Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes please. Yes. Don't call him Kyle. Do not do this. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, Chris? Yeah, yeah. Chris? Yeah, yeah. Actually, don't probably do this. don't. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Do it, do it. Do what about a meme? Maybe a meme. No, 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 no. No. Call Dan, dude. It has to be Dan. Do it. What time is it in LA? Hey, look, if anything you bail, I'll be like, oh, Dan, my bad. I'm sorry. Do it. Yeah, do it. I feel like, sorry, wrong He's number. not going to answer. It's 10, 15 a.m. He's going to answer. It's 2 a.m. Because we're recording this on Friday morning. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Guys, figure it out. Oh, this is scary. You should call Kyle Seeloff and call him something I'm else. I'm sweating. All right, we're doing oh, it. Bob. Maybe right, Bob? They may be recording. It's fine. Don't worry. Here we go. Then he oh won't answer. Why is Jeremy so Hey, you afraid? hang up. Yeah, if it, yeah, if it goes wrong, just hang up. Dummy up. Just butt that. Just a butt that. He's not going to answer. Dummy up. That's my great Cody line answer. He's not going Leave him a voicemail. <laughs> hey, Kyle. Hey, Kyle. It's Chris. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely hey, doesn't Kyle, have. Hey, this is Dan, right? It's going to be like, you've I don't reached. Think, I think his voicemail was full. Okay. Why, uh, why'd you for, you're going to leave because, no, because I thought it was going to be like you've reached and yeah. then give his number oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just well I could edit it out yeah we're yeah. not live nah just in case Chris right, call is not back. Call yeah, Chris, 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 that's call a smart move this is, I'm feeling dangerous who else can we call call your dad say Kyle Stugatz call Bimmel no no you take it too far who am I calling? Take it too far. What do we call land your on? dad? Call your dad. Your dad. Your, dad. your dad's gonna be a good one. Yeah, your dad's gonna be a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Kyle. You ready for this prediction? My dad goes, "Hey, boy." Okay. <laughs> oh, I have to go cute. after this. I know, that's, that's adorable. Nice. It's endearing, yeah. My son. My son. Give me back my son. My boy. My boy. Come on, Dad. One time. Come through once. Dad, please answer me. Dad, I need you. Come on. Dad, he wasn't there. <laughs> to take me to Nothing the like bed. a ringtone. Can you leave him a voicemail or no? I don't know. All right. Well, let's... call Danny. Leave Danny a voicemail. Just hey, it's so Danny. Hear, just no, so Danny. Oh, he took it off. Danny, Danny did take us. it off. Danny That's so sad. Yeah. Well, you guys, you guys picked on him. No. And made fun of him. No. Yeah. No. Not you guys. Just Lewis. Just me. Lewis laughed when he <laughs> fell in Austin. <laughs> no, because that shit was funny, dude. Guys, no, hold on. That was really bad. Out of respect to Lewis, he laughed the first time. The first fall. You guys the second time where his yeah. head almost got exploded like a grape. That dude, my guy was smirking. I wasn't looking. No, I I was, my guy him. was enjoying I my guy's see trust. Him I'm he watching Danny you. try to ride on this thing, and I, you can tell right away, this dude's not making no, it on this thing. And Lewis is just like, look at him riding it. Look He's bleeding inside his jacket. That's not the way that the went down, dude. Out on the side of the That's road. not the way yeah. that well, went down. You guys are down. two hours no. late for dinner. We get to dinner and Danny isn't Covered talking to anyone and he like lifts up his arm. You just see blood like through his he's shirt. He's like when a quarterback really... like fucks up their collarbone and he's like, his arms just limp. He, he was like, afraid uh... to tell anyone that he was dealing with an issue. He probably showed up like, yes, thank you. Oh, great. He oh, was yeah, really lucky Bibble that was really mad no that he was covered driving. in blood. Lucy, by the way, Danny fell on a scooter in Austin. He, yeah, he don't know what's happening. It's not what they make it seem. He fell into traffic, but there was no car in the way. He the street. Yeah. It was a miracle that he didn't get it hit was, by I didn't car. see him fall that time. He was behind me when he fell the time that he fell when he almost died. We were right, crossing right. a bridge and he was going way too fast. The famous and bridge. Slow down. Too, and the fast. famous bridge. Almost almost over the front. Well, that's going to do it for another episode of Mystery Crate. Wow. Uh, Tony, what do you got? Uh, I've got Sunday time. Night Live. Me and Juju Gotti are recapping the NFL weekend every Sunday night, 7.30 after the games. And possibly an MMA hangout for the Tyson Fury, Francis Ngannou fight October 28th. Yes. Goal against Mighty this week. No goal. Harry Lyles Jr. was on. We were talking about college football. Hey, Kyle. 
It's Greg. What are you talking about? You're talking to your daddy. Kyle. <laughs> what are you doing? Kyle. Why are you just saying Kyle? Where's her? Yeah, can I talk? Can I talk to Kyle, please? Oh my God! What is... Christopher, what are you doing? <laughs> we like that fun. It's the worst prank call. Yo, ever. daddy. <laughs> Yo, daddy. <laughs> Chris, you're supposed to you're supposed you to mean? just talk to him like normal, but call him Kyle. Yeah, don't just keep saying Kyle, Kyle. Yeah, Kyle. No, no, you can't hear him. <laughs> you gotta say, hey, what are you up to, Kyle? Hey. hey, whatever lunch, Kyle. He goes, it's your daddy. Oh my God, <laughs> that's the best part. <laughs> it's your daddy. <laughs> Cinephile, Killers of the Flower Moon. If you were into that movie at all, extravaganza. We talked to a bunch of people from it. We hear from Marty Scorsese. If you're into that movie, check out Cinephile. Mystery shirts are back. Oh my God. Follow me on Twitter at MikeyFountains.com. Follow Lucy as well. She won't send you a mystery shirt, but she's a really nice lady. Miami Mike up. Miami Mike up in the back. And okay, goodbye. Bye. Miami Mike up in the back.